that Universal Studios Hollywood is confirmed. Shop something to value off the side of the tram, or if you have any sound or video issues, reach up and grab the red emergency cord that runs along the center of the ceiling of the tram, and I'll be back to assist you as soon as I'm safe to do so. Otherwise, during the entire tour, please remain seated, keeping your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. I'm on the lot. It's that, and your boy right here. <laughs> but what are we missing though to be a legit city? Because we've got the fire station, sheriff station, medical services, and a restaurant. The Visitor Center in Jurassic Park is in there. Who built the Richest for Christmas? It's home to the boys, but not anymore. But don't worry, we're still on the lot. I didn't lie to you. They just received when they take their COVID testing and those blue tents. And then the cooler part is to your left when you pass it. It's their base camp. Their favorite character's trailers, as I see, seven bucks only. That's it. And they check a lot with monkey paw productions. That's what you want to feel. He's been hanging out on the lot a lot. Get out, us, uh, and he's here because the note comes out next month. Let's get excited for that. And then Mark Platt Productions is here. Here we go. There's a silhouette next to that number under the white That silhouette belongs to the notable director, Alfred Hitchcock. You know his name and his work. It's classic thrillers like The Birds and Psycho, and a lot of those great movies I can't watch because I got nightmares watching Five of the Chicks and Meatballs. Like, I'm sure they will. I cannot do them. I could just do comedies. And they do more.
right, shall we survive our quiet zone so I can finally You never get used to it. I support you with a safe space. But if you want to use rain for your movie in Southern California, you're going to have to make it yourself because Mother Nature does not give it here very often. So right now, we're taking you into old Mexico. This is the perfect place to show you how they make it rain. And not just make it rain, you know, like under your seats, I'm not Oprah, or literal make it rain. And they use cutting edge technology to get it done. They use sprinklers. The sprinklers shoot the water up into the air first and then it falls back down to the ground with gravity. That's for a reason. So take a look on your left into the canyon. Now when you see your favorite characters frolicking in a nice gentle summer rain, it looks like it feels oh so good. It oh so does not. They're filming in a downpour like this. It always has to be this heavy for it to pop it up on screen so that your eyes can tell that it's rain when you watch it. But yeah, you get the point, that's how they do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the rain and we'll be on our way. And I think it's this button. Okay. Wait, what button did I press? Oh. Box of Sario. just to survive a flash flood. Now you just saw it in person. I want to show you on your screens how it translates to the movies. It's in one of my movies. and call me a biscuit, y'all. We just made it to the wild, wild west. This here is called Six Points, and it gets that name because there's six distinct western streets here that can each be their own town. Emmy Lawson was here filming the new limited series Angelina on Peacock, so she was here in that bright pink Chevy Corvette. And then Quinn Tarantino was here, too, from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So yep, Leonardo DiCaprio was right here, Brad Pitt was right here. But as the contemporary western stars, you know I gotta show you the classic ones that were on these streets that you're sitting on. So as you turn the corner, look on your left, and you'll see where they're turning the chairs around. So she's taking a break this season, but right there, that's where she was pressing those buttons. Right off the beautiful coast of the Hollywood Ocean. Did you know the Earth had five oceans? I know it doesn't look like much like one, but that's Park Lake right there. Camera tricks and scale models can turn it into a lot. And also, come on, this location, the afterlife, come on. I've never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. Take a mental snapshot of that yoga shop you see right there, because we're coming at it dead on right now. So look for the green building with the blue doors. That's the giveaway. And we're passing it on your left in my first car. Are we going to the bad place? Maybe, maybe it's not all that bad. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Now, Little Europe has been Europe. It's been in, in Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. That's a brand new movie, Houston version. Around the world in 80 days. It was also a fictional place. Andy Genovia stands from Princess Diaries. They did Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement right here as well. And you're passing that big open square. That's So funny thing about Frankenstein right there, the actor who portrayed him, anytime he wasn't actively rolling, they made him put a bag over his head. They didn't want to give away what he looked like, and it worked. Because when the movie premiered, people legit fainted at the sight of it for the first time. They had to call ambulances and everything. So it's just the power of keeping a secret. And you're actually looking at one of the best kept secrets on the lot right here. Because you drove by a hot set with once a week, and now you're in the middle of one here at South Stage 50. So do me a favor and stay seated at all times to keep those haunts and lids inside and hold on to those phones nice and tight, don't want to drop them in here. So Soundstage 50 is one of the only two level soundstages in the entire world. You can do a lot in here. This set right here, amazing, right? That's from the production designer. Have you ever seen that in your Hollywood credits? This is their job, okay?
Is everyone okay? Hold on. Let me just see if I can There was a lot, but don't worry, we're gonna relax and recover at this point. Not there's one in the water, but just stay seated, okay? Let's not agitate the shark. Oh look, there's our intern George on the dive. See, I'm sure he's got it handled. Oh, that's so cute. They're playing. Oh, three three play bubble tanks of gasoline. It's totally safe. But someone else who looks good all day, every day is that shark actor right there. An amazing coworker for me to have on the lot. I, I like my shark a whole lot more than Spielberg liked his shark on the set of Jaws. Take a look. That's a much maligned shark. The shark was frustrating. It, it didn't really work all the time. It didn't work all the time. The shark We just waited around. We just waited. The shark is working for a while there. pleasant to work with and neither was the director on Jaws. Not Spielberg. I'm talking about the director they hired before him because it wasn't his job at first. But that first director came with a lot of issues. For one, they kept calling the shark a whale. And we don't tell her body shaming of any kind at Universal, so that director had to go. And can't imagine the franchise being in better hands than Spielberg himself. They busted the block. And that's where that term comes from. So we're, I can't swim, so we're gonna leave those animals in the water and check out some animals on the land on your right. It's also very much an homage to the 1970s martial arts films. When the are remarkably ridiculous. Now that jet bike that Gru is talking about riding in on, it's another great example of a picture car and it would belong in us. The Dodge Black Charger that's from the Fast and Furious belongs to Dom. Mystery Machine from Scooby-Doo and Bumblebee from Transformers is hanging up up there. That yellow and black car parked next to a Decepticon police cruiser. Now sometimes I work pretty late at the park. We all go a little mad sometimes. That's right. Hey, there's a vacant seat at night, so use my code Rashawn20 for 20% off your stay. But I'm telling you, it's worth it, okay? Norman will do anything for his guests, whether that's, you know, late checkout, that's not an issue. Room service, he'll be in that kitchen whipping it up for you. Looks like he's working really hard for a guest right now. Oh, oh that's so sweet. Look, he'll carry you to your car. Come on now. Oh, oh, that's, uh, Norman? You all right in there, buddy? Oh, he's not all right. Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Oh. Oh, my back car, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. Ooh. Ooh, not business. Oh, I know, like, she looks amazing. It looks like she hasn't aged in, like, 60 years. That skin cover team, incredible. Now, something else that's incredible is all this destruction you see all around. It's caused by that big plane crash right there on your left. And that's a real Boeing 747 airplane. They had to slice it all the way down the middle and then chop it up into sections so they could drive it in on flatbed trucks from the hobby and fit it under the overpass. This was all done for the movie War of the Worlds. The airplane crashed the set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Stephen when we first began to sit down and talk about the world, world, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right when it's cool in the airspace? Because it's, it's just something we don't see. You're doing good. We are going to be fascinating. The 
All right, y'all, we're about 10 minutes away from the end of the tour, so we'll back at the Because right now, <laughs> it just got serious. Okay, I forgot to tell you. We've been harboring a secret witness the entire time on this tram. And it's actually our driver, Jerry. Okay, but we cannot lose him because the criminal Owen Shaw is on our tail. We're gonna hide in this garage, so please go arms and feet inside the tram at all times. And watch the cell phones. Make sure you do not drop a window because they can track every bit. And then make sure no flashes come from your phones at all. Okay, let's literally not be like the path. We're showing the finest. Now, the reason why we're in this garage is because I know the person who runs it, so they can look around the number here. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Michelle. Okay, I've got the witness, but also like the hundred and seventy other friends who can take care of all of us. I knew you could. Furious Supercharged! 